Today we are going to be opening and closing our garage door with our smartphone. So right here I have a button that opens and closes my garage door just like you probably have at your house for your garage door if you have a garage. All this is is two wires that when you press the button are connected and it's screwed into two bolts up on the uh, garage door motor. So right here you can see the two screws and if you take a wire and connect those two uh, they open or close the garage door. Now you can see I have some alligator clips. This is a temporary setup right here. Some alligator clips connected to those. Also, this motor is run uh, by an outlet right here. It's powered by an outlet right here. So I just plugged in a USB cell phone charger to there and ran that down to my ESP8266. Sorry for the wobbly camera work. I am standing on a step ladder here. My microcontroller is in a breadboard because again this is a temporary setup. But you can see I have that. It has some wires that go to a relay and the relay is connected to the alligator clips which are connected up to the garage motor. So now all I have to do is take out my smartphone, open my web browser, point it to our microcontroller and click the button and the garage door closes. Again, this is something we worked on in previous videos uh, where it just, I set it up as a momentary switch so it connects uh, the relay for a half a second and then disconnects just like pressing in the button and letting go. Uh, I was a little concerned uh, because again my phone is not talking directly to the microcontroller, it's talking through Wi-Fi so the microcontroller had to be able to connect to my Wi-Fi which is on the other side of the house and I wasn't sure I was going to get a signal in the garage because uh, I wasn't sure how strong the uh, ESP8266 module is but it was able to reach that no problem. So now theoretically I can open and close my garage door from anywhere in the world because all I have to do is open up a port on my router and now I can connect to that device from anywhere in the world that I have an internet connection to. That being said, right now there is absolutely no security on that device besides the fact that my network is encrypted. So if I open up ports on my router and access it, there's no security to it. Uh, if someone breaks into my Wi-Fi and they find the link to that, they can get to it. There's no password and even if we did set up a password at this point, there's no encryption uh, for the communication so it could be sniffed. So those are some things to think about. We're going to look in future tutorials, we're going to look into setting passwords, but again, uh, there's no encryption on the device itself. There might be ways, I haven't looked into that yet. But right now, there's no encryption on that device. The only encryption I have is my WPA encryption on my network, uh, which is fairly secure, but could be broken. Luckily, I live out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so uh, as you can hear, all the bugs around me. Um, so it's not like I have a lot of neighbors trying to sniff my Wi-Fi. Uh, not that someone couldn't pull up out in front of my house, but they would be a little suspicious. Uh, but again, this is my temporary setup. I'm still going to work on it. I'm going to add some security to it. but. Again, all I have to do is click that button. I can open or close my garage door remotely with my phone, laptop, tablet, anything connected to the internet, that, or at least right now my local network with a web browser. And if I know which IP address and what the URL are, uh, is for that device. So, I thank you for watching. As always, this is my second channel, which is mainly on hardware. Uh, if you want to know more about how this works, be sure to check out the previous videos and future videos because we're going to be doing a lot more stuff like this. There should be a link in the description of this video to a full playlist uh, where I go into stuff in more detail. This is basically just a demonstration. Uh, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link to that in the description as well. There you can search the videos on both my channels. My other channels mostly talk about software. This channel is mostly focusing on hardware uh, projects. Uh, and um, on my website, you can search through videos from both channels. There's also an RSS feed that you can add to your RSS reader and get updates from both of my YouTube channels from that one feed. Uh, I thank you for watching. If you like my videos, uh, think about not only sharing, subscribing, commenting, liking this video, but if you have a dollar or two or more, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash melx1000. There's a link to that in the description. Again, check out all my videos. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Sorry about all the noisy bugs. Because <laughs> someone will complain about that. Uh, have a great day. One more quick thing to think about. Uh, while you're hooking this up. There are different GPIO pins you can use. You can use a lot of them. Some of the GPIO pins, you got to think about uh, if there's a power surge, 
is this device going to flip on that GPIO pin when it's rebooting? Because you don't want there to be a power surge, and every time there's a power surge, your garage door opens or closes. That would be bad. Again, hopefully uh, in the future we'll add sensors to this to where you can um, detect whether the garage door is open or closed, and you can do things like maybe if it's open for a certain amount of time, automatically close, or something along those lines. Or again, if you're not here, if you're not at your house and you're trying to open or close the garage and you can't see it, you don't know at this point whether it's open or closed. There's one button that opens it or closes it. Uh, so definitely want to think about adding some sensors, maybe even a webcam, so you can view whether it's open or closed. So those are things to think about, things we might touch on in the future. And as always, uh, th again, thank you for watching.